so we're back in after effects and this is the effect that i made i saw a similar effect on someone edit on instagram and i thought to break down it so let's just jump to another comp where i have my clip ready as you can see so to start off i'm gonna go over the middle and split the clip and dry clip go to time and just hit freeze frame and you can extend the duration so we have a freeze frame like that after you do that in the description you will find a link to this poster and the whole project file for free so you can download and experiment but now i'm gonna drag the poster the wanted poster in my timeline like that it is scaled up so you can scale it down and drag it where my freeze frame happens get t to bring up the opacity and lower down the opacity then you can scale up to fit your character fit your subject in it as you can see now anneli chopa fits in like that then make a copy of a freeze frame put it above your poster then lower down the opacity of it then go over to the toolbar and you can select the square marks tool and just marks out your subject like this yeah and you can bring up the opacity to 100 and doing that your subject will be on the poster then right click on the blank space go to new and create a new null object and just trim it to my layer poster layer size then select your marks out layer and your poster layer and link it to the null object now if i move the null object both thing gonna move so first we're gonna animate the scale so hit the stop pause in the beginning go a bit further and scale it down like over here like about like that then then go to the beginning again and bring up the position hit the stop pause in the position and go over to last and just adjust it so it's on the middle then you can enable 3d on all of your poster layer with the null object then i'm gonna also keep him the orientation go over to the last and you can just play with the values here now select all of your keyframe hit f9 go over to graph i'll select this end right here and just drag it in like that so we have this animation like this then in your cutout layer you can add like a tritone to change the color in the effects control in the mid tones select the color picker and select this color of the poster something like that then you can add like a certain noise into it uh, a bit of noise then make an adjustment layer drag it in the middle and add a as sick like that this is an external plugin so you have to download sapphire to get this effect so go over the middle where the transition happens and go over to am amplitude hit the stopwatch on that go few frame forward and just set it to zero and go a bit further on the backwards and set it to zero then you can easy ease those keyframe go over to graph and in the backward i'm gonna just make a graph like this so make a graph like this then you can add a effect called motion tile into it set the output width and height to 200 by 200 and put it over with shake then i also added a exposure animated it to zero animate it to zero and where the shake happens make it like 1.5 and go over to the last again and make it zero so there's also some flash and you can also go over to the frequency of the sick and make it like 10 yeah that looks way better and we're pretty much done but i'm gonna add some final touching into this like add a hue and saturation on the background clip i'll make the saturation to zero so we have black and white on the background and add an effect called cc vineyard bring up the amount of the cc vineyard as you can see the cc vineyard makes it look way more cooler then add like a noise on the background clip and bring up the amount of the noise too then select your null object to your cutout layer and your poster layer pre-comp all of those into one layer then add like a wave warp into this and you can bring up the width now and you can lower the height and i'm gonna set the direction to like 180 so we have a bit of paper waving type of effect then you can also add an effect called roughen edges to of course roughen the edges of this paper so it looks a bit realistic then also a drop shadow i will set the direction to like 230 and bring up the distance and bring up the softness and lastly if you have resigned vfx suite you can add optical glow from it this is completely optional i guess it just looks better put it above your drop shadow then bring up the amount and bring up the size make the amount to two i guess yeah then in alpha channel make it extended on mold 
so that's how we create this wanted post to effect so if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and you can also follow me in instagram i constantly drop some really cool sauce in there and all the music video that i added so see you in the next video bye